freaking coffee. See somebody in the chat saying, need some domain to profit March Madness, and I don't even have my coffee. Okay, breathe through. It's time to get going. Okay, well, I'm Drew Wash. This is Domain to Profit. And, well, let's talk a little bit about what you desire. What you desire. That's what today is going to be about, because realistically, I think most people – including me possibly if somebody was to walk up to me on the street and be like, Hey, uh, what, 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 what are your goals? What are your dreams? I'd be like, this is a really weird conversation to have with somebody at the bus stop. But <laughs> realistically, the thing is what, what do you desire? What is it that you're wanting out of your life? Most people, their gut says they want money. Why do you want money? You want money because it can provide you what it is that you desire. So we're going to dive into a little bit of that and look at some alternative ways to get what you desire via domain names. Yes, you have to buy the domain name, but once you do, you can have whatever it is you desire. And I'll show you a couple little hacks, tricks, and the access that a domain name can provide for you. So if you have not already, make sure you say hi in the chat. Lots of great people already there saying hi. I'll see you on the other side. I'm Drew Wash's Domain to Profit. Let's get rolling. From Domain to Profit, Domain to Profit, from a dot com to a business idea. Take your domain name developing income from Domain to Profit. We'll show you how. Domain to Profit, from Domain to Profit. Join Drew Wash and get started right now. All righty. Well, I see lots of people uh, chat chiming in. Let me try to grab some of these, uh, some of the comments we have up in here. Hey, Stuart, how's it going, man? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, El Couch. I always use the name you have listed. Uh, so, yeah, just so, just so you know. Uh, and Michael, nice to see you as well. Uh, and then Fred, yes, March Madness. And I, did I mention that I forgot my coffee? Like, I made coffee. It's sitting upstairs somewhere, and I'm like, and then I forgot it. I'm, I'm disappointed, bummed, bummed. But I'll try to bring the the light caffeinated version of, yeah. Anyhow, Lee, nice to have you here. I think we're all in the same time change now. Uh, last week we had some uh, time change madness. Speaking of madness, and Matt, nice to have you as well. I appreciate you all being here, as well as those who are out in anonymous land where. I do encourage you to join us over on YouTube and not be anonymous. Don't be anonymous. Anonymous is okay and all, but uh, but realistically, the, the cool thing about Domain to Profit is the community, those that you get to hang out and chat and over on Twitter and such. We have a lot of people that are out to do some cool things via domain names, and that's this is just where we get together and talk about domains. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, spend a little bit of time. Uh, we will be looking through expireddomains.net, expireddomains.net, and looking through expired domain names, which is exactly what we do each week here on Domain to Profit, which let's get started, shall we? Let, let's, let's just head on over there. Let's get started with some domain names, and then we will come back to the uh, we will come back to the idea of getting what you desire. Maybe we'll get lucky. And some of the domains will tie into it. I, I don't look at the domain names typically other than maybe the first few. Uh, so I don't know what we'll have. I just have to find that hook. We'll find that segue. We'll see if it comes up. So we will head over to expireddomains.net. Uh, I already have my filter set up. So do you know the filters? So you would go to, you'd need the free account, you would go over show filters, you get rid of numbers, you get rid of hyphens, you set up only .com, you only look at English one to three words, and then you only look over the, the next seven days. Let me just show them to you real quick. Just before this video, I went ahead and filmed the video that I've been trying to do for quite some time. So you'll see uh, no numbers, no hyphens, and then behind me here we got English one to three words. Then over here, wait, over here, we got seven days. 
And then on this additional tab is where you go to .com only, .com only because, well, we're looking to develop domain names, make some money, and that requires us to start off with authority. Authority and validation, and that comes from having a .com domain. Okay, so we have, well, let me zoom in a little bit. You'll see that we have it down to 84,000 of which we typically get through maybe about up to 600. Virtual trainer is not bad. I don't 100% know what the heck we would do with a virtual trainer. Virtual trainer of what? I don't know. I don't know. Let's click on it. Let's let's check it out. Let's see what we have. So I'll grab that. Then I'll come over to SpyFu. We use SpyFu to uh, get an idea of... Uh, of the keyword, how many people are searching for this, because we can't go with our gut. We certainly don't want to go with Drew's gut. It's right on certain things, but when it comes to, uh-oh, oh no, oh no. Did they put us behind something? I did not check this. Oh no. Well, I guess maybe we need to uh, set up a free account now. Maybe I need to go over to, I, I love using SpyFu though, I don't want to. So as of right now, I'm setting up my free thing. They've watched the show people and they decided that they're no longer going to just let me do this for free, I guess. So I'm signed up for free. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I'm going to go over to a different tool. So as of this point, I'm going to go over to my SEM rush. That's the downside of a live show is Dagnabbit. The downside of a live show is that when things don't go right, you have to adapt and adjust and fix things while while live. Okay, so let me share back up my screens. Here's where we are now. Uh, evidently, SpyFu has given me the boot. So I am over on semrush.com, which we are going to go and look at keyword data. So same tools are available over on semrush.com. semrush.com, it's just, as you can see, it's not as clean. They have so many tools that it gets really bogged down, but we're going to go ahead and add in virtualtrainer.com to their keyword tool. Oh my dear goodness, if I can remember how to use this site, it's been quite some time. We're going to analyze that keyword. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's all good indeed. Hopefully, hopefully it's all good. Because I don't really have a choice, right? Like, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so here's what we have. This is what it looks like over on SEM Rush. SEM Rush, I'm not 100% sure if they have uh, the free account like SpyFu used to have. So that's why I wasn't using it is because you would have had to have set up a paid account, I believe. They might have a very basic free version. We'll adjust and adapt and have to figure out SpyFu after the live show. But what you can see here is a lot of the same data. It's just going to look different. So if you've joined me on a weekly basis, you know what we look for is we look for this number over here. We want to see how many keyword, how many searches are available for this keyword. So for virtual trainer, we have about 480 searches available for us. And then they still show us over here the cost per click. And then you can see there's seven people running ads on it. So we have single digits on the ads. Cost per click is still pretty high, 480 in the volume. So those are the same numbers that we see on SpyFu. The only thing is we're over on SEM Rush. Hopefully the transition between the two isn't too big of a deal because realistically what we want to know is, is Virtual Trainer worth purchasing for? Oh my goodness gracious, six days left on the auction. $1,225 is where it currently is. So I don't know. I don't, I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. Virtual Trainer sounds great, but I think it sounds great more as a brandable type domain name. What the heck do I mean by brandable? It, you know, a virtual trainer. If you need video classes or things like that, people may not be searching for it, 
But when they hear virtual trainer, it does paint a bit of a picture in their head as to what they would have. I think virtual trainer, maybe along the lines of uh, physical trainer or the athletic trainers. Maybe it's uh, somebody that joins you over Zoom or video conference and says, you know, five more push-ups, one more, one more, one more, and tortures your life. That could be what you find over a virtual trainer. The only thing is, is if the vol- keyword volume is not there, you, you have to trade 100% on the sound of the domain name, which can work. It 100% can work. The question is, is when you call somebody and say, I'm with virtualtrainer.com. I'm Drew. I'm with virtualtrainer.com. Who is going to hear that and go, oh, like that sounds like a place I need to be or that sounds authoritative or, ooh, like uh, I'd love to get you listed on virtualtrainer.com. Who who would hear that and, and think, oh, that should be me. I should be there. It's not as clear cut as what it would be if it was just trainer.com or personal trainer or some of the words that we know we would have more keyword volume with. Okay, we're going to move on from that one. Uh, as of the 1200, I think it's pricing out of a general development based on the keyword density. I could see that domain name certainly going for thousands of dollars uh, just on a speculation basis, which isn't most things speculation. I don't like to speculate much. I prefer to see the numbers back up what my instincts tell me. Or even better, I'd prefer the numbers to uh, to tell me something I don't know. Game scope, travel groups. So essentially, as you know, we go through this slow and steady, one page at a time, looking for the domain names that pop out, defining an industry, defining a project, painting a picture in our heads that... Uh, that we can then, as domain developers, create. We don't have to be all that creative. We just have to see a domain name, know what is expected to be on that domain name, and then we just create it. We just create. It's color by numbers is what we're looking to do. We're looking to color by number, not to necessarily have to uh, you know, be an artist. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, politically, why I think the Great Reset isn't that like what people are? I've seen a bunch of tweets and craziness about that. It's not a so I'm guessing there's keyword volume around it. The only thing is there's probably not money. So if you're into politics, maybe that's a good domain name for you. Let's just click on it, see what it is generating. Fifty dollars. So not much happening. Uh, if there's interest in it, we can dive into it. But that sounds like a, I think it's more of a political domain. And why? Why Why mess with that? Team meetings? Team meetings? That's not bad. I could see that being a little, a little tool that allows you to meet with your internal teams. Uh, we use a kind of a little small program that a couple guys are making called supernormal.com which allows you to do kind of asynchronous video meetings. Uh, so you don't have to be all on one time. Uh, so shout out to super, supernormal.com. Uh, they're still in development. Uh, but I hate Zoom. I hate having to be somewhere at a specific time like this. Like that's how important you are to me is like, I'm willing to be here every week at 3 PM with you, uh, but I only have one other meeting every single week at a specific time. And that's my team meeting with my people. So teammeetings.com could be a way to meet with your team outside of Zoom, uh, a new tool similar maybe to Super Normal where you do some videos and things. $25 currently ends in four days. Let's see if there's any keyword volume over on SEM Rush. Again, since SpyFu has changed up their stuff. And I was not prepared to know that they did that. So on SEM Rush, I apologize. I don't know if there is a free uh, tool or not. Uh, but if there is, you look for the keyword reset. Team meetings, much better data over here. So if you see here, 3,600 uh, are the searches. 
high uh, high difficulty on the volume, but that's somebody's opinion. That 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 difficulty we don't really talk about it on Spy Fu much, uh, but it is there. That difficulty is possibly a good thing. We want to see that it's difficult for people to to rank for that keyword because that means that the domain name provides an alternative path to reach an audience. Instead of, you know, keyword difficulty means, okay, it might be difficult to rank on Google. And that means that these advertisers, which unfortunately over here, you'll see that there are really nobody paying for the ads. Ads are zero. That means that there's really not much money behind these keywords. So even though the volume's high, nobody's paying for it. But let's say that met our threshold and it hit double digits and there's good money behind the keyword and it's difficult. That means that that difficulty actually provides us, uh, you know, with a way to say to people like, hey, it's really expensive, really difficult to rank for this keyword. So take advantage of teammeetings.com to reach that same audience uh, in an alternative way. So. That's one way you can kind of spin that a little bit. Okay, we'll we'll pass on team meetings, but great domain name for sure. Yeah, that's uh, Fred is adding. That this is uh, in regard, regards to uh, yeah. There's there's some big thing involving the change of society and stuff. It's I don't know if it's I don't know enough about it to even really talk about it. Other than I I you know some people consider it a conspiracy theory. Come some people consider it reality, but. I'm kind of apolitical, really. I don't really dive into that stuff to know, other than I do keep an eye out on keywords and things that uh, like that. So I know it from that aspect. Air Locker, that would be a brand. Okay, moving on. Keeping going. Teleport me? A couple centuries too early for that, probably. For lunch? for lunch.com I like that I often see domain names maybe you do too like you see a domain name and you're like oh that's awesome that's that's so much fun realistically fun is it's fun to buy maybe but not something that you can actually make money off of or develop you know paint by numbers Let's see. Come on. Let's see what we come up with. I really want to segue into a little bit of a discussion. So this last week I was in San Diego. As you saw last Monday, I was in San Diego uh, for a social media marketing world conference. And I wasn't really expecting too terribly much from the conference, uh, except for it turned out to be that it segued really well into crypto and NFTs and Web3. Uh, so it really got my brain going and it got me thinking about the nature of, of money and desire. And uh, so NFTs kind of, they, they, seg- they, they tie into a little bit of the thought that I want to share today, but domain names as well tie into it. Come on. And if you see something in the list of domain names that I'm missing, feel free to uh, yell them out in the chat. Not really seeing my gut feeling. How many times do I say that? I say that at least once a show, right? Let's just click on it for that reason. Let's just click on. So what would you go with with my gut feeling? My gut feeling sounds like a blog. It sounds like a blog, right? It's maybe a personal blog. So uh, when we hear about uh, blog type stuff, uh, that means you're going to go the the way to monetization will be through content. Content's a difficult path. Uh, Ask Alvin, who joins us occasionally uh, here on Domain to Profit, uh, and he's in the community often. He runs a blog with tons of content, tons of traffic, and it's a, it takes a long time to get going. But let's say you do a blog where you're sharing your gut feeling on different subjects or allow other people to share their gut feelings. Uh, 260 is the volume, no ads, no ads, and no money being spent on it. So again, it's all this would be a complete blog type thing. We're, we're just going to pass it over. 
But again, how many times on this show do I say, I'm going to look at my gut feeling. No, just nobody cares about your gut feeling. Nobody cares about my gut feeling, really. That's why I go to the data. I don't, I barely even care about my gut feeling. I use it to, uh, to kind of make me lean into something. But after that point, I got to go to the logic. Okay, well, we are 300 or 200 domain names into uh, the show, uh, which means I'm going to skip over to the other. I want to go over to the whiteboard, which means, boom, right here. Um, so I want to go whiteboard a little bit and just share with you a little bit of the thought that I, that I was having the other day. Uh, and that is, <laughs> let me share with you my gut feeling. I, I just told you that nobody cares about a gut feeling, but that's what I'm about to share with you a little bit because it's not really the gut feeling. So let's just say that we have you and look at, look how handsome you are. You're just sitting out there and you're like, you know, what I really am looking for in life is, uh, I have this desire for this thing, whatever that might be. And your desire. So what is it that you desire? Whether it's a car, whether it's a, I, you know, I was thinking like, what, what is it I desire? I, I look for freedom, flexibility. I was thinking like one desire I have is I would love to not have to fly commercial all the time. <laughs> like I would love to, like the one luxury I would love to have is like being able to show up at the airport, walk onto a plane and then go someplace that I actually want to go. So that's one of my desires. Well, what is in the way, what is in the way of you and your desire? What's, what's in the way of that? Well, it's this right here, right? Currently, if you want to accomplish anything, you need money. You can't just like, cheat and go to your desire, you actually need to earn some money. And with that money, you can make your desire happen. Make sense? I believe that does. And the way that it works out here is, this is the loop that we all experience over the course of our lives. Those with money get what they want. Those without money, you know, like they miss out. It's, it's why poverty, it's why uh, all, it, it just, it even takes away your hopes and your dreams if you don't have money currently, right? Well, what if, like, let's say your desire was to meet uh, a professional artist, maybe a professional DJ, since uh, I happen to have a, a good domain name in that industry. Let's say you wanted to meet uh, a specific DJ, maybe, what is it, Marshmallow Head or uh, I suck. I, I don't know enough to be able to, sound intelligent when it comes to DJs. But if your desire was to, in fact, uh, be to connect to or, oh my goodness, okay, let's see here. If you wanted to, uh, your desire was to meet somebody, what if instead of pursuing money to do that, to put yourself in a position to do it, you instead buy DJs.com? If you own DJs.com, would it put you in a position without money necessarily? Yes, you had to buy DJs.com, or maybe you just produce something on DJs.com, or you create something, and now you put yourself in a position to do it. Bear with me for one second, because really what it is, is what if there's more of a direct path to your desire other than going through money? Money is an obstacle to your desire. Right. So what I was thinking about when it comes down to let me see if I can add a new page. When it comes down to uh, your desire. And you. It occurred to me over the course of last week as I was thinking about digital assets, NFTs and things. What if your desire was to gosh, I wish I can come up with a good good freaking uh, thing. But what if you really care, like me, you would love to, it's supposed to be a plane, your desire is to fly privately. And what if you could, instead of having to buy money and go off on some tangent, 
going off looking for goods. What if you can instead buy or exchange value with your desire? What if you could buy a token or trade Drew token? Right. <laughs> Drew's like, who am I? I'm a domain guy. I put on this show. I provide value in the uh, form of talking about domain names, showing off great domain names. So I have Drew token. There's better ways to do this, but I'm trying and it's live. So, so I have Drew token that brings value hopefully to the world. And then if I could somehow buy a private jet token, instead of exchanging out through money, I'm trading Drew token and the value that I create in the world for jet token, which is the value of that private flight. There's a version of the future where we actually can skip over the money piece and directly translate the value we are creating in the world into the value we want from the world, the desire from the world. Uh, way, way out there, right? Way out there. But let's say that you want to uh, use domain names in the same way. <laughs> Domain names give you access to industries that you may not have any, any reason to be in whatsoever. I remember when we closed, when I closed on domains.com, uh, I was in Vegas. Uh, we were at a names con, uh, which I will be at this year. Uh, I don't remember if I bought my ticket yet or not. I need to get my ticket, but it will be in Austin in September. I will 100% be there. Make sure if you want to come hang out with me and lots of other domainers, probably the ones in the, the chat and so on, get to Austin, hang out with us. But I, we were in uh, Vegas when I bought DJs.com, and I just like instantly felt the access that I had to an industry that I had knew nothing about. I could have access to people that produce, people that uh, are already in that industry, and domains were my ticket. Same thing happened with towing.com bought towing.com. And yes, there's people that are like, whoa, what's the internet have to do with towing or whatnot? But so many people come around and they say, hey, towing.com, instant authority, they, they perk up. So what if instead of dealing with US, dollar, US dollars, there was some kind of exchange happening where it was more about the domain name in a digital asset? Just a thought. Pretty, pretty crazy, right? Yeah. But domain names can provide that direct access to your desire. Look for domain names in the area that you're interested in. Somebody in the chat, uh, this might be a pretty good example, and this is still early on. Like I said, this is just some crazy thinking that I've had over the last week. Uh, somebody in the chat, Matt, who's in the chat, I, I use them as an example pretty frequently. He deals with games. He's a big gamer. He loves uh, games. He, he's creating games at times. And what if he, well, he does actually, he has gamereleases.com and he is using that domain name and we'll be able to use that domain name to have access to early betas, early uh, information on games. He doesn't have it yet, but he will have it. He will get his desires related to gaming without necessarily having to use money. He's bypassing that tangent that you know step into money and instead is developing his way using a domain name to get his desires that's pretty freaking cool like same thing uh with tourguides.com i i bought tour guides just before freaking COVID hit it was not a well-timed purchase but i got tourguides.com and the whole purpose of it was you know a lot of times i travel and I spend a lot of time in my room or spend a lot of time walking, but I don't necessarily have a bunch of activities planned. What if instead of spending my time on money and then needing to trade that money for an experience, I can now use tourguides.com and be able to approach places like, hey, I'm Drew. I run tourguides.com. I'd love to you know, check out your stuff and write a review about it on tourguides.com. I mean... There you go. It, it's not even a money exchange. Now it's a value exchange centralized around your domain name. 
There's there's more there's more to life than money. Like if if your entire purpose and you're a traveler and you're like me and you want to go places, experience things, it doesn't have to be about money first. It can be deliberately about meeting what it is that you want out of your life. So there you go. There's Drew's rant for the uh, for the for the week. Uh, something I'm certainly unpacking. You can use domains to reach your desires. So maybe we'll get lucky, find a good domain name this week that represents something you're looking for, something that you're like, you know, I've always wanted to paint or something. Maybe. And we can find a domain name that allows you to uh, not only paint, but get exposure for your paintings or maybe get cheap cheap uh, canvases and paints or something. Been told that stuff's really expensive. So... Okay, back to the domain names. Uh, hopefully that got your brain uh, rolling in a little bit of a different way. That's part of what we want to do here. Uh, we're not just developing domain names. We're developing and making sure that we're working towards our dreams and towards our desires, getting what it is that we want out of our lives. It's what I pursue every day. I don't pursue money. I pursue my desires. I pursue what it is that I want out of life. Uh, and if I can help you kind of skip that secondary piece, then so be it. I do see a future where it's going to happen, hopefully in my lifetime. I'm working on, I'm working on doing what I can to make it happen. With that, I'm, I'm probably going to start working more with uh, crypto and blockchain stuff. Early, early insight into Drew's brain, I guess. I've already been playing with it for a while, but maybe block training. Is that too short? I don't know. Block training. Maybe that's maybe that's my next show is blocktraining.com. Block training, the profit block training. Okay, no, I'll stop right now. <laughs> you know, the best time to stop would have been two seconds before I stopped. Okay, so. Uh, Matt is bringing up, let me see, uh, close to being paid and exposure, which is terrible, terrible problem in the art industry, paid and exposure. Well, uh, and that's the thing is people have to eat. We certainly have to eat. Um, but if you create art, isn't your goal, you, you need to eat, but you also don't create necessarily put it in a box. You create to have exposure. I mean, you can go the route of making money and then, paying money for a gallery to have exposure or you can get paid an exposure. I, I don't know the problem. I'm probably talking way out of turn on that. Uh, but if your goal is exposure, you can just skip the payment part. There's nothing wrong with skipping the money piece is what it comes down to. And if exposure is not something that you value, then don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, luxurypillows.com. I could use a luxury pillow. Let's see if anybody else is looking for luxury pillows. I do avoid products in most cases. I don't really uh, like the business model uh, in regards to products. But products are important, right? Products are life. Lots of people make a lot of money off products. Uh, let me see. We got 1.3, 1.3 right down here, thousand searches in the keyword area uh, globally. And this is one nice thing that I do have about SEM Rush is what I'm blocking here is we have a way to see the global numbers. Some keywords are going to be big in the U.S. and I focus often on the United States, but in reality, there's a whole freaking world out there. We're like one little fraction of the population of the world and just focusing on the U S is a pointless, like it's what I know, but it doesn't mean it's the best opportunity for what it is that I'm trying to accomplish. So yes, that's one nice thing about SEM rush is it's going to show you this information over here that may show you that there's opportunities outside of the United States, which UK right in line with, uh, with the United States with that. The one thing I'm not liking on this, and this may be a difference in SEM Rush or not, is over here, 
top ads that appear for analyzed keywords. There's none. There's nobody paying for this. Uh, so I have trouble believing that's correct. I'm guessing somebody's paying for it. But let's let's go find out. I don't want to take SEM's rush, SEM rushes uh, word for it. So I'm going to go out to and search for. There's an ad. There's an ad. There's an ad. There's an ad. What the heck are you talking about, SEM rush? What are you talking about? Let's see if we can find some. I I I don't know why they're. What What do you mean? There's zero. Okay, well, there you go. LuxuryPillows.com. I think there's a, an opportunity for uh, to sell luxury pillows. And I love the idea of luxury in this when you can boil it down to a really small segment of people. Uh, and get really Marketing is about being very precise with who your target audience is. Domain to profit. Domain to profit is about developing domain names to make profit to get what it is that you desire. It is not about buying and selling, buying low, selling high. It, that's a footnote in what we talk about. We look at here on this show, people that are looking to take a domain name and develop it into a business, into something that can provide a life for them. Getting very precise about what it is that you do is much of what marketing is. And the luxurypillow.com, that's not for everybody, right? Maybe everybody would love the idea of a luxury pillow, but in reality, an expensive pillow is going to be a very small segment of the market. So uh, I like that it specifies that. Outside of that, you're talking about a Shopify thing with some pillows, unless you're pillow passionate. I like that, pillow passionate. Unless you're pillow passionate, most likely that's going to be a pass, but certainly worth it if you love pillows logistics partners logistic partners i like logistics i get drawn to those but i'm going to keep on moving on enchanted cannabis it's a brand seems like a pretty good brand you ever get that feeling like you really wish you had your cup of coffee This one hour usually goes by so fast, but without being able to like drink my coffee, I'm I'm like Jones and Jones and what's in the cup? What's in the cup? Yeah, and okay, yeah, I saw some blockchain uh, talk here. Matt was mentioning uh, or uh, L Couch. Interested in learning crypto and blockchain. And then uh, also Matt was saying that he's taking a, a class on it. Yeah, he's going for learning how to program some stuff. And I can tell you, I am like actually, uh, I, I think I mentioned, hi, all messages. Okay. I think I mentioned, uh, you know, I, I got into a little more NFT crypto stuff. Um I lost interest there for a while because I see the flaws in uh, especially the marketing and the way that people are talking about it. And it's, it drove me nuts to where I'm like, okay, I got to pull back from this. Um, and whenever we see a problem, we have two choices. We can decide that it's a problem for somebody else to solve and we can move on or we can decide that it's a problem that is important enough to us that we can pursue fixing it or working on it. Um, and when it came to NFTs in markets, uh, my, my first thought was, it is not for me. It is not my problem. And I'm not entirely sure that that's the case. I don't want to go into too much on it. Uh, there's a much bigger picture. I will just say that uh, many of us view domain names as the original NFT, the mid, their original digital asset. There's not really digital things of value out in the world other than domain names. Domain names were like the first. And uh, domain names pair up really well with crypto and tokens and 
Um, I'm, you know, over the next couple of weeks, I'll share with you a domain name that I'm working on purchasing and maybe some of the ideas I have for it. I, I, all I can do right now is talk very vaguely, but there's, there's, some, there's some cool stuff happening. And it is the intersection of domains and domain development, domains and crypto and tokens. And possibly, possibly even uh, we've had, I've had several people, which I thank you so much for all of you out there that have asked, uh, people that have asked how they can support me and domain to profit because we do not take sponsorships. There's no money to be made here. Uh, and we may even issue, I was joking earlier about a Drew coin or a Drew token. There may be an opportunity that if you want to support me, you can possibly experiment and dip your toe into a little crypto world and invest in me and that direct value exchange that I was talking about. Uh, but it's early. It's, it's early in my thoughts. I got things to think about on it. Okay. I feel like I'm dancing. Can you tell how much I'm dancing? I'm dancing around uh, saying things I want to say. The only thing is, is realistically, I uh, I need to spend some time in the the idea spa. Okay, uh, see that segue? Just just change the subject. Okay, ideaspa.com. Uh, realistically, how cool would that be to have a space that was made to uh, to bring ideas, to massage ideas to life. That's where I feel like I am with many of my crypto ideas is uh, very much, uh, I need some time in the idea spa. I need to think about them more. I need to spend time planning and diagramming and diving into my thoughts. I need to have lots of conversations with people that are uh, forward crypto thinkers. Uh, and then at the end of it all, world changing stuff could come of it. So maybe. And yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, uh, here we go. Coaster, Coaster G is talking about, uh, it, there probably will be, I'm probably going to create a new channel or something. Uh, we'll see. I, I don't want to, I, I feel like so many people that I really like to follow, they went crypto and feel they're, they're lost. Okay. Ideaspa.com. I like this from the idea of, um, you could do some co work. It's more of a brand. Ideaspa.com. Okay, well, this is a good opportunity to mention the five-minute warning. Who knows what Idea Spa will go for? It. Because it's more of a brandable, it can go anywhere between not selling all the way up to hundreds of dollars, depending on who all is interested in it. But what I will tell you is do not bid on it if you are interested in it until the last five minutes. You do not want to bid until like five minutes, 10 seconds, because of the extension that happens with domain names. I am adding it to my watch list. I do like it almost from the idea of content play, maybe a blog. I don't know necessarily a business way to go with it, but it did let me change the subject. So that's good. Excuse notes. Sounds like something you'd get at like Spencer's Gifts. The Spencer's Gifts, they sell the novelty stuff, the fake, the joke stuff, like fake vomit and fake poop and stuff like that. But excuse notes, all oh, these are excuse notes that you can hand to your boss and let them know that you were hung over because you were drinking with friends last night or something and make it sound like really official. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Crack myself up. If you, if you think that if you're ever entertained by what comes out of my mouth, you ought to freaking know what's inside my head sometimes because I have to filter a whole lot. Okay, on to the final page here, checking in with uh, chat one more time. And I have, a, uh, I have chat open on a laptop down here, the one that I'm using for drawing, just playing around, always experimenting. It's very much one of my personal values is experimentation. Uh, so let me see here. Yeah, and uh, I'm just, uh, this one's coming over from LinkedIn from Domain Search Guru. Uh, per fractionalized domain ownership is actually here. Uh, I believe they just announced that uh, a couple weeks back. They did a, I think, directions.com, went to a fractional ownership through 
uh, a website called Rally Road. I do not believe. Let me st- let me just. I don't necessarily believe that fractional ownership uh, of a domain name, where the owners are uh, just financial investors. I don't think that's going to be the path forward. Okay, I'm, I got to shut up again because I'm getting. I, I there's a whole big plan that I would love to invite you on uh, and show you more, and, and and walk you down a little bit. But it is exactly what we do here on Domain to Profit. We take a domain name, a, a premium domain name, which, yes, we've not necessarily seen uh, really amazing domains today, but occasionally, occasionally we do. NFT swaps. I mean, I don't know if that's a 100% thing. Uh, too geeky. I'm going to mark it as check out later. I want to find a good domain name to make my point here, but let's just say, let, let me walk you down the path a little bit of, of what I'm going with with these domains. When you see the best of a premium domain name, so say a bartenders.com domain name, which I purchased uh, 2020 for $50,000, or djs.com, which I purchased, I believe, 2019 for close to 200,000 or or so. Um, Why do I pay that much? What have I shown you here on this show as to why I pay so much for a domain name? The reason is, is because that domain name can get to that level of value using very simple domain development and monetization strategies. That's my theory that a great domain name can be developed simply to generate a really good revenue for whoever developed it or whoever owned it. So to piggyback piggyback on the idea of fractionalized domain name, uh, right now, if you own a domain name, the only time you make money off of it is when? When you sell it, right? If you were a fractionalized owner, the only time you make money off that domain name is when it sells. Like if I want to buy a domain name and hold it for years and then hope to cash out for a few hundred percent gain, that just, I don't know, that sounds boring. That is that is pursuit of money, right? That's pursuit of, do I still have it up? Let me, let me go back to the, that's pursuit of not the desire. Your desire is not money. Your desire is what money can buy. So instead of pursuing the money directly, which what does uh, the Bible says and somewhere in there, not to get all spiritual, but realistically, I think it's first Timothy money, pursuit of money is the root of evil. And that's because you want to pursue your desires. What are the things on your heart that you should be pursuing? That's what you're supposed to pursue. And then many people, they know they need the money to get to their desire but they go off on this tangent where they're just money, 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 money. And they never stop to think like, like, is this like, they spend all their time on something that they don't desire versus returning to just getting their desire. So if we can develop a way to, instead of fractional ownership, where it's all about the money, 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 but instead it's fractional ownership of a developed domain that pays maybe membership fees out to uh, collects them from the people that are sharing in that domain name for their small businesses and then shares those um, that revenue out with those fractional owners. And then maybe if that business with that domain name ever sold, those people that invested in it could benefit from it. Just some some questions. You know, how would that model work for you? Interesting. Okay. Hey, the traveling circus. I like that. That one's a fun one. <laughs> I love the comments that I'm seeing here. The comments that I'm seeing are like you I'm used to like the one sentence comments. And these are all like so uh they're they're like longer ones. Like I honestly can't even barely um I can bear, I'll probably have to read some of these afterwards. 
Um, fractional ownership's not a clear path forward. I recommend that those consider. Yeah, it, fractional ownership. It it's a stepping stone towards something bigger. That that's where we are. It's we're just at a stepping stone. We're at a place where maybe you are in a place where you're not going to go buy a fifty thousand dollar domain name. I don't think most people should be pursuing domain names like that unless you have a way to monetize it, a way to profit from it, a way to implement the the local Legion 300 and get the revenue you need to buy that domain name or implement it or profit from it. Most people are not there. I want you to get there to where you don't have to do sharing of the domain name necessarily. And if you're there, if you're where you have hundreds or maybe a thousand or a couple thousand dollars for domain names, uh, fractional ownership is not the way to go. You should be finding a domain name. In fact, we're within the last 10 minutes. Let's go over to Google. I'm like, not Google. We'll go over to GoDaddy because I did buy a domain name last week. Uh, and I try to show off each week some of the domain names that I purchased. And you're probably not going to be surprised by this at all. Uh, the domain name that was purchased, I believe the one that uh, we talked about quite a bit was this one up here, rapidbusinessloan.com. Uh, still waiting for that one to end up in my account. But when rapidbusinessloan.com ends up, and you'll see $708, I don't remember what I said. Uh, I believe I said that I valued it about six six hundred and eighty eight dollars or something. Uh, so I ended up going what 10, 20 bucks above that. Uh, seven hundred and eight dollars for rapidbusinessloan.com, which we looked at last week. You can check that out. Uh, and I left it out there. I wanted somebody to be able to get this domain name. I did not want it in my hands. I wanted it in your hands because I believe that this domain name is a perfect example of a domain name that's less than $1,000 that you can pretty quickly turn around, find a few businesses that are willing to part with a few hundred dollars to have a profile of some sort up on the domain name. We're gonna test that theory. Once I get that domain name in place, uh, I am going to, uh, on a separate channel or separate thread, I'm gonna spend some time uh, trying to figure out how to make some money off that domain name. Last week, I was trying to sell the idea of rapidbusinessloan.com being a simple development that was an opportunity for you. No one contacted me about it. I was a little bummed. I was really bummed. I thought it would actually go for cheaper. It didn't. Uh, but the fact that it's still less than a thousand dollars, like this was an opportunity of a domain name that I believe could have made a few thousand dollars a month for somebody. Uh, well, I went ahead and grabbed it and to walk you through more precisely the time, those lengthy steps, because they are lengthy. It's a, it's a, it's a long process uh, to find people that are willing to pay you for access to a domain name. Uh, but what I'm going to try to do is uh, make some phone calls, use the strategies we've talked about here on Domain to Profit, uh, where it's, if I build this, if I do this, will you give me this? What would it be like? have the, the fictional conversations with people that provide rapid business loans and find out how we can turn this domain name simply into a business just by 100% just using the domain name, using the domain name and then some simple development uh, to turn it into a business. I've wanted to do that before with a different domain name. I believe rapid business loan is even a more uh, simple one. So Stay tuned on that. Check in with me. Don't let me slide on it because it is something that uh, it's just going to end up in my portfolio hidden if I don't, uh, if you don't keep me honest. So uh, then let, let me see. I, I think it's about it. That's the only one I ended up. Um, yeah, no, no other one happened this last week. So, okay. Well, <laughs> this I feel like this show, it's the, the danger of a live show, it, it went off on the rails a little bit. Um, if I may ask athlete B I Y, I'm not sure what you're referring to there. Was that a domain name that we saw here? Um, if you're asking if I like that domain name, I have no idea what a B I Y is. If I was to type it into SEM rush, I am guessing athlete B I Y is probably no searches. 
at best it's a blog. Uh, so I wouldn't, I, I don't find any value whatsoever in that domain name just for the record, if that is what you're asking. Um, yes, and, and this is uh, referring to more, what about selling frac like uh, selling fractions of cover development for monetization? So when it comes to that, like right now, there's not an easy path to do fractionalize like it took a lot of work uh, drew rosner um rosner he, he spent a lot of time getting it to where rally road could do fractionalized domains so we're still just so early in that idea but one thing that is going to happen is it's going to be much more of a standard practice to where it's not even about the ownership of the domain name it's about the the business model that the domain name represents once you start to disconnect it a little bit from the domain name, uh, then you can start to uh, think about issuing tokens and NFTs and some of these digital, uh, the whole purpose of NFTs, if you're not familiar with them, is the idea that they're non-fungible or they're, uh, uh, they're a token of ownership of a digital good. So you can have these different levels of NFTs that may represent uh you know, access or uh, you, you have to watch your language. It, it 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 really kind of approaches the idea of stock, except for it's not stock, and it's not ownership. Instead, it is a a system that allows the revenue of a asset to be distributed amongst other people that have bought into that uh, source of revenue. And that's the key is there's a source of revenue. Uh, that's the difference between a developed domain and just a domain name. And that's what I'm really uh, wanting to uh, monetize. You can monetize anything. You can sell anything. You can develop anything. Uh, there's nothing sacred when it comes to that. But having a source of revenue and a path forward in a way to bring together a community, uh, that's that's what I get excited about. I get excited about doing the show because I get my community, I get all of us and we get to hang out together and talk domain names and development. And evidently today, Drew's rantings on uh, some crypto and uh, tokenized uh, domain names and things. But realistically, you know, we see maybe many, many people over the course of a week or a day. Uh, and it's just so nice to be around people like you who are here with me uh, to talk about domain names and talk about this stuff. There's, there, there's nobody in like, there's very few people in like real life, real Drew life that uh, is talking this stuff, unless I corner them and force them to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Yes. And uh, that, that is exactly right. That, that I'm, I'm sorry if I'm off topic and uh, we, we will continue to be talking domain names each week. I will separate out channels to continue this conversation or tweet at me. So let me see if you have not already, and you're still here, then obviously we connect, we connect. You should make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and that's youtube.com slash drew wash. And that's wash, like wash your hands. And, uh, and also like this video, especially if you kind of like that whole crypto talk and stuff, that's going to move over to another channel, but we will continue to talk domains development. And I, this is my one hour of looking through expired domains. So I plan on doing it each week with you right here, 3 PM Eastern standard time every Monday. I do appreciate you being with me. Thanks for bearing with me as we went off on the rails a little bit, as they say out into the rabbit hole or down the rabbit hole. So I appreciate you. See you next Monday, Eastern standard time. I'm Drew Wash. This is Domain to Profit. Take care.